Right, so as you can see, my sweet potato wedges are looking righteous. They're looking like they're ready to go. I've taken these out at the 20 minute mark. What I'm gonna do now is add just a little tiny bit more olive oil. Remember, olive oil is very good for you, so don't, don't um, think like it's not. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer it to a grill. And this grill has been heating up at 180 for about 10 minutes. What we're gonna do is leave that in there, but keep a close eye on it, just to make sure they don't burn. Our chicken is now coming to the 40 minute mark. We're gonna have another look at it. Uh, as you can see, there's a drastic change since last time when it weren't looking too clever. So, I don't know if you can see this here. I'm lucky enough to have an option on my oven where I can turn it into a grill as well as an oven. And this is where you're gonna get your restaurant style finish. So, again, we're gonna go in one more of the bad boy Piri Piri made from scratch. I've got a video out for this sauce. So, if you follow me, look out for the Piri Piri video. And then, what we're actually gonna do is stick it back in, but now on grill. At the same heat, 180 to 200. And we're just gonna keep our eye on that. And that's where we're gonna, we're gonna manage to get the barbecued style that you get at a Nando's or you'd get at a Piri Piri chicken um, restaurant. So I'm gonna show you the results in a minute. So now we're at the best stage of cooking. Obviously the time to eat. So today what have I done? I've uh, prepared for you um, a Piri Piri sauce, which I like to call the Piri Piri bad boy sauce. I've prepared mm -hmm. Piri Piri chicken and sweet potato wedges. And this is the final cup. I hope you can follow the instructions and the steps and get it popping yourself. There's no reason why you have to go to a restaurant. You can all do this yourselves. Follow me, Rebel Chef London on Instagram if you like what I'm doing. Peace out.